In Storyline, there's a really powerful feature called templates, and templates are a great way to save time by reusing content or sharing your work with other developers. Today we're going to look at how to apply a project template and also how to create your own templates. Now when you first install Storyline, you'll have some templates already available to you, and these slides are an example of that. And to get to this window, all you got to do is go up to the Insert tab, choose New Slide, and then select Templates from over here at the left. And your available templates are going to show up right here in this drop-down list. Now the character display panels are really cool. These are some nice layouts that you can use for your content. There's also a really nice template called Top Interactions. This gives you several pre-built interactive slides that you can customize. And then these others that you see in the list here, the notebook and the tabs, these are just a few examples of the free templates you can get from the Storyline Downloads area in eLearning Heroes. And you can go there by clicking on this Download Free Templates link right up here in the upper right. And we add more downloads all the time. We want to keep growing that library so you have lots of really good stuff to work with. So what you can do is once you've selected a template, you can just click on the slide that you want to use. And if you want to use multiple ones, you can use control click to select as many as you want. We're just going to select one, this one right here in the upper right. And then the next thing is we need to tell Storyline where we want to insert it. We do that right down here. We can choose to add it to the current scene, a new scene, or if we choose same as imported template, and that means that if there's an existing scene structure to the slides that we're importing, then Storyline is going to maintain that. So we're going to choose to add ours to the current scene and we can go ahead and click import. And what happens is Storyline is going to add that content to my project. And then if we look at the slide that gets created right here, we'll see that we can you know, modify anything we want. We can adjust the text, we can move or resize things, swap out the character, any edits or customizations that you want to make it acts just like a regular slide. So you can make this um, look and behave however you need to. So that's how you can insert a slide from a template that's in your template library. But what if someone gives you a Storyline template? Maybe they email it to you, or maybe you downloaded one from the free templates available at eLearning Heroes. Well, that's going to work very similarly. What happens is you're going to get a file that looks uh, something like this. It's going to have a story template extension. And then you can do one of two things with it. You can either double click it from right here within Windows Explorer, or, and that's what I'm going to do, but you, there's another way to do it too. You can also, if you're um, just beginning a new project, you'll be at the Storyline launch screen and you can choose from project template and navigate to the file that you want to use. When you do either of those things, you'll see the same you know, window that we saw a minute ago. This is where you can choose the template and you'll see that the new template will show up right there in the list. And then you can select it and you know, choose the slide that you want to add to your course. Now when you do this, what's cool is Storyline inserts the slides that you selected, but the other neat thing is it's also going to place a copy of that whole template in your template library, which means now you can reuse that template anytime you want. You just go back up to the Insert New Slide Templates dialog and there it is in our list. It's part of our template library now. So this can save you a ton of time. If you've got you know, some specific interactions or quiz questions or slide content that you seem to use a lot for a lot of different projects, super easy to reuse them this way. The content's right at your fingertips and you can get to it at any time. So speaking of that, how do you save your own project templates? Well, when you create a course, let's just say that we've created this cool course that we want to save as a template. All you got to do is go up to the Articulate button and then choose Save As. And then down here at the bottom, you want to choose story template for the file type. And then of course, you know, you can, you know, navigate to the location you want to use and give it a name and all that. I'm just going to save this with the default name. We'll overwrite one that I previously had saved. And so what happens when you do that is Storyline saves the file where you tell it. So then you can, of course, mail it off to another developer. You can post it in the forums. You can give it to whoever you want to reuse it. But Storyline also adds that same template to your library too. So now if we go up to insert new slide and choose templates, we're going to see that new one that we just created. So we'll select it and there's uh, the slides that were part of that content. Now the place where your template library lives is called Storyline templates intuitively, right? So it's going to be part of your folder structure in um, Windows Explorer. So there's a um, Storyline templates folder within the folder called My Articulate Projects. And if you open that, you'll see all of your templates. And if you ever wanted to get rid of any of these, that's totally fine too. You can just select it in Windows Explorer and then hit delete. And then when you delete it, it's going to go away from your template library as well. So have fun with templates. It's a great way to save yourself some time and also share your work with others.